The Qia dynasty is the first dynasty in traditional Chinese history. It is described in ancient historical chronicles such as the Bamboo Annals, the classic of history and the records of the Grand Historian. According to tradition, the dynasty was established by the legendary Yu the Great after Shuns, the last of the five emperors, gave his throne to him. The Qia was later succeeded by the Shang dynasty. According to the traditional chronology based upon calculations by Lu Xin, the Qia ruled between 2205 and 1766 BC. According to the chronology based upon the Bamboo Annals, it ruled between 1989 and 1558 BC. The Qia Shangzhou chronology project concluded that the Qia existed between 2070 and 1600 BC. The tradition of tracing Chinese political history from heroic early emperors to the Qia to succeeding dynasties comes from the the idea of the mandate of heaven, in which only one legitimate dynasty can exist at any given time, and was promoted by the Confucian school in the Eastern Zhou period, later becoming the basic position of imperial historiography and ideology. Although the Qia is an important element in early Chinese history, reliable information on the history of China before 13th century BC can only come from archaeological evidence since China's first established written system on a durable medium. The oracle bone script did not exist until then. Thus, the concrete existence of the Qia is yet to be proven. Despite efforts by Chinese archaeologists to link the Qia with Bronze Age or Lithu archaeological sites, traditional accounts, the Qia dynasty was described in classic texts such as the Classic of History, the Bamboo Annals, and the records of the Grand Historian by Sima Qian. According to tradition, the Huaxia were the ancestral people of the Han Chinese. Origins and early development Traditional histories trace the development of the Qia to the legendary three sovereigns and five emperors. According to ancient Chinese texts, before the Qia dynasty was established battles were frequent between the Qia tribe and Kaiyu's tribe. The Qia tribe slowly developed around the time of Juush, one of the five emperors. The records of the Grand Historian and the Classic of Rites say that Yu the Great is the grandson of Juush, but there are also other records, like Bangu, that say Yu is the fifth generation of Juush. Based on this, tradition ascribes the ancestry of the Chia clan to Juash. Gun's attempt to stop the flood gun, the father of Yu the Great, is the earliest recorded member of the Chia clan. When the Yellow River flooded, many tribes united together to, to control and stop the flooding. Gun was appointed by Yao to stop the flooding. He ordered the construction of large blockades to block the path of the water. The attempt of Gun to stop the flooding lasted for nine years, but it was a failure because the floods became stronger. After nine years, Yao had already given his throne to Shun. Gun was ordered to be imprisoned for life to reform the eastern barbarians by Shun at Yushan, a mountain located between modern Donghe County in Jiangsu Province and Linshu County in Shandong Province. Yu the Great's attempt to stop the floods Yu was highly trusted by Shun, so Shun appointed him to finish his father's work, which was to stop the flooding. Yu's method was different from his father's. He organized people from different tribes and ordered them to help him build canals in all the major rivers that were flooding and lead the water out to the sea. Yu was dedicated to his work. People praised his perseverance and were inspired, so much so that other tribes joined in the work. Legend says that in the 13 years it took him to successfully complete the work to stop the floods, he never went back to his home village to stop and rest even though he passed by his house three times. Establishment used success in stopping the flooding increased agricultural production. The Chia tribe's power increased and Yu became the leader of the surrounding tribes. Soon afterwards Shun sent Yu to lead an army to suppress the San Miao tribe, which continuously abused the border tribes. After defeating them, he exiled them south to the Han River area. This victory strengthened the Chia tribe's power even more. As Shun aged, he thought of a successor and relinquished the throne to Yu, whom he deemed worthy. 
Yu's succession marks the start of the Qia dynasty. As Yu neared death he passed the throne to his son, Qi, instead of passing it to the most capable candidate, thus setting the precedent for dynastic rule or the hereditary system. The Qia dynasty began a period of family or clan control. Overthrow Ji, the last king, was said to be corrupt. He was overthrown by Tang, the first king of the Shang dynasty. Tang is said to have given the small state of Qi as a fief to the remnants of the Qia ruling family. Modern skepticism. No mention of the Qia dynasty survives from anything near contemporary sources. Oracle bones dating from the Shang dynasty, which otherwise record ancestral rulers from the supposed time of the Qia, and conflicts of the Shang with even relatively small tribes, do not mention the existence of the Qia, or the conflict between the Shang and the Qia recorded in later sources. The first written mention of the Qia dynasty does not occur until the Western Zhou dynasty, with references on bronzeware. Narratives of Qia dynasty people and events do not appear until sources dating from later in the Zhou dynasty. The paucity of written evidence and the time gap between the supposed time of the Qia and the first written references to it have meant that the historicity of the Qia dynasty itself and the traditional narrative of its history is at best uncertain. The skeptical school of early Chinese history, started by Gu Jiegang in the 1920s, was the first group of scholars within China to systematically question the traditional story of its early history. By critically examining the development of the narrative of early Chinese history throughout history, Gu concluded, the later the time, the longer the legendary period of earlier history. Early Chinese history is a tale told and retold for generations, during which new elements were added to the front end, among other points. Gu and other historians note certain parallels between the traditional narrative of Qia history and Shang history that suggest Zhou-era fabrication, or at least embellishment of Qia history. Yun Kuin Li's criticism of nationalist sentiment in developing an explanation of Three Dynasties chronology focuses on the dichotomy of evidence provided by archaeological versus historical research, in particular the claim that the archaeological Erlitu culture is also the historical Qia dynasty. How to fuse the archaeological dates with historical dates is a challenge to all chronological studies of early civilization, in the shape of the turtle, myth, art, and cosmos in early China. Sarah Allen noted that many aspects of the Qi are simply the opposite of traits held to be emblematic of the Shang dynasty. The implied dualism between the Shang and Qi, Allen argues, is that while the Shang represent fire or the sun, birds and the east, the Qi represent the western water. The development of this mythical Qi, Allen argues, is a necessary act on the part of the Zhou dynasty, who justify their conquest of the Shang by noting that the Shang had supplanted the Qi. Archaeological discoveries Archaeologists have uncovered urban sites, bronze implements, and tombs that point to the possible existence of the Qia dynasty at locations cited in ancient Chinese historical texts. There exists a debate as to whether or not the Erlitu culture was the site of the Qia dynasty. Radiocarbon dating places the site at c. 2100-1800 BC providing physical evidence of the existence of a state contemporaneous with and possibly equivalent to the Qia dynasty as described in Chinese historical works. In 1959, a site located in the city of Yanxi was excavated containing large palaces that some archaeologists have attributed to capital of the Qia dynasty. Through the 1960s and 1970s, archaeologists have uncovered urban sites, bronze implements, and tombs in the same location cited in ancient Chinese historical texts regarding Qia. At a minimum, the Qia dynasty marked an evolutionary stage between the late Neolithic cultures and the typical Chinese urban civilization of the Shang dynasty. In 2011, Chinese archaeologists uncovered the remains of an imperial-sized palace, dated to about 1700 BC, at Erlitu in Henan, further fueling the discussions about the existence of the dynasty. 
sovereigns of the Chia dynasty. The following table lists the rulers of Chia according to Sima Qian's Shijia. Unlike Sima's list of Shang dynasty kings, which is closely matched by inscriptions on oracle bones from late in that period, record of Chia rulers have not yet been found in archaeological excavations of contemporary sites, or records on later Shang dynasty oracle bones. Chia dynasty family tree